Metal Man X here. One of the best things about independent studios is that they are willing to provide us with kits that us fans have been asking for for a long time but have yet to receive through official channels. So today we're going to be looking at the freshman effort from Supreme Evolution, The Glory, based on the Stargazer from Gundam Seed. And as always, this review is brought to you by Gundam Central. Make sure to check them out. The link is in the description. They're my go-to place for anything third-party or independent release. So now moving on to The Glory. So this was made by a new company called Supreme Evolution. And honestly, they did a fairly good job with the presentation of this kit. It looks very, very good. It's very impressive what they were able to pull off as far as part separation and color choice for a first outing for a company. I think they did a fairly good job. This is basically your standard master grade. So no metal frame or anything like that on the inside. This is actually based off of a seed inner frame Classic interframe. So let's get into the nitty gritty of this kit. First off, one of the things that probably catches your eye immediately is this amazing gold. Uh, it also comes in black, so all these pieces can be black. But be aware that the gold uh, is only going to be available with the first edition release. So if you get it after the first edition, this will be black. On the, uh, for all the gold pieces. Now, they did a good job with the gold pieces. There's very few areas where you have any concern with a, any nub marks or gate marks on there. There is a little bit of area right here on, if I can get this in here, on the head, on the V-fin, where you see a little bit of a gate mark. But for the most part, it's not a big deal. I do like that they used an orangish plastic in order to kind of blend it in. So it's not like a black dot on the V-Fin. As far as articulation goes, you have a really good articulation here on the head. The shoulders, uh, the shoulder can move up and down and you get a good articulation here with the arms back and forth, all that kind of stuff. And even you have a bit of a shoulder movement right here. So you do get in a shoulder joint that can extend out. For the most part, uh, this is really great. It was a little stiff getting the shoulders on though, but you know, that's whatever it is. So moving on, we do have some articulation back and forth here in the chest area. We'll talk more about that a little bit later in the review. Uh, good side to side, um, good side to side motion. You have a little bit more articulation there. Independent moving little flaps on the side and the front with a so uh, with a movable butt plate at, uh, right there. You do have good side to side. It's a little bit blocked by these guys, but you can move it out of the way and get a nice movement out of the leg. Good movement in the front. And you do have independent moving uh, hip joints here. So you can kind of mess around with that quite a bit. A double bend at the knee with a little sliding gimmick side to side and a good toe bend so uh all in all as far as articulation goes it does look good you also have these little parts right here which actually pop off i'll show these off really quick okay and so this is an extra little thruster right here that you can use. And they, they have a really interesting connection that they decided to use for this. So it just slides in instead of being attached 
all the time. It does make them rattle a bit, which is a little bit annoying when you have it in the hand, but I mean, that's not gonna cause any issues when you have it on display. So one quick note, I've already noticed that the knees feel pretty loose at uh, on there. So, you know, I'm a little worried about long-term stability with this kit. You're definitely gonna wanna have it on a stand of some kind. So moving on to some of the accessories, um, it does come with a large number of water slide decals. As you can see, I've only used a few of the water slide decals just to kind of test them out. They are very good quality decals. So that's nothing to really worry about. The, uh, the, I would say though, that I do wish they went with a bit of a darker silver. You can barely see it on here. See if I can get, there are some silver water slide decals all over this thing, but they don't really show up all that well. So adjust the light a little bit. So it is a little bit difficult to see. You do get some um, weapons with this kit. So this will be standard for all versions. You do have a beam rifle, which has two forms. You have the long rifle form. And I do like the painted silver on here. It really does look good. And then you have kind of a smaller version of that. So it does look good. Lots of little details all over this kit. Now, of course, this being based off of the Stargazer, which we don't have an MG of, an official MG, which is one of the big selling points of this kit, we do have a backpack and ring system. So the backpack has quite a bit of articulation. And be careful when building certain parts of the backpack, especially this part right here. Um, I nearly broke this when I was building mine. Be careful um, of that. Um, the little part that goes inside of this white arm here is a little little tight, and I almost broke off the 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 connection piece. So this has some, a lot of independent movement. And you can, and this is going to help getting lots of different poses. So it opens up this way, so you can uh, you have independently moving arm arm pieces, basically fully articulated arm pieces here. You can move it however you want, as well as another little hinge. So this can pop out. So this moves right here if you want it to. So you're gonna be able to get quite a bit of posability with the ring system that this thing has. And speaking of the ring system, here we have the rings. Once again, this is the first edition, so I do have it in gold. It'll also, so after the first edition is gone, it will be in black. So these come in two separate parts, so you can get lots of different style poses out of it. Um, and I'm gonna show that off here in just a minute. So these connect using this peg and another supporting structure into the backpack. So you can get these things to move all over using this, drop it down low, however you want. So there's gonna be lots of options with this. Now, one thing I'm gonna go ahead and point out is that this ring system is a bit tricky. The backpack is a bit tricky, not in the build wise, as far as pieces fitting together, this was really easy to put together. 
However, the frame itself, one of the biggest problems is this is very heavy, okay? And we're not even talking about the effects parts on there just yet. This is a really heavy backpack. Now, if you move it around and rearrange how these rings are set, how the ring halves are set on the kit and their position, you're gonna get a lot better balance. But if you want kind of that iconic um, glory, um, sorry, not glory, stargazer, if you want that kind of iconic stargazer look, it is going to be pretty heavy on the backpack. You do have a couple of connection points right here that are used with this piece that helps stabilize it in place, okay? And that's gonna help keep the ring together uh, if you wanna use that. Now, my biggest complaint about this kit is the weight of the backpack. It's, this kit was a really fun one to build. Um, honestly, it really was a fun kit to build and it looks fantastic. But the issue is that whenever you use the ring and put the backpack on, what they did when they built this is they use a ball joint in the waist. And so whenever you are posing it, you're going to see significant drop from the back. I'm going to try that again. So just moving my finger and it falls backwards. Now, obviously you're not going to be posing it backwards, but it does have a difficult time having a natural pose with the ring system as is. Now, one way to kind of combat that is to use different options and different poses using the ring system. One the, so honestly, it does really hurt this kit how heavy the backpack is. But if you play around with it, you can get all sorts of amazing poses out of it. So I'll show off some poses in the glamour glamour shots later on. You got so much poseability with this that you can really create whatever you want with it. But like I said, it does come at a cost. What I would have loved to have seen them do uh, would be to implement a system like what we saw in the Tall Geese. So if you've ever built the Tall Geese, especially the RG Tall Geese, there's a little piece in it because the backpack is so heavy on that kit. There's a little piece in it uh, around here that allows you to kind of lock the waist in place. So I would have loved to see them implement something like that in this kit so that we could uh, avoid the extremely heavy backpack, especially when using a ball joint. So I'm worried that this over time is really going to wear out because of the weight of the backpack. It doesn't mean that the build was bad. This is on par with your standard MG kit, but the weight of that is just too much. Now, they did provide a stand to help out with it that attaches to the backpack. This is supposed to help with the kit. But the issue with this stand is that it's not that great. I mean, when it's sitting flat, when the when it's sitting flat, that back on. It's just barely tall enough to to reach the ground if you angle it. And so this stand really does not cut it with this kit. I highly suggest that you get an action base one to go with this kit because 
Otherwise, you're not going to get the poses that you really want out of it. And I would have loved to have seen them include something like that. Now, moving on to the final, the final sections uh, of the first edition. And that is these really cool effect parts. I got to give them props on this. They are a little loose in some, some of them, um, a little bit loose, but it's kind of hard to see on the camera. I'm trying to get some extra light so you can see it, but they have a pearlescent clear, um, clear piece on them. And it just looks really cool. I love how this looks. So to attach these, what we're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off so that I can move these independently. There's a small groove right here that you can take these. And it says to do these independently. Uh, I'm kind of cheating right now on this. Um, but what you do is these just slide in and they will hold in place just like that. And you can have different attachment points and you can get lots of different um, orientations of these little beams. So one of the biggest drawbacks though about doing this is it does increase the weight dramatically on areas that are already struggling to handle the weight. So these, once again, will move independently. Um, when you're in this mode, uh, it is pretty heavy, but they just like the ring system, you can move them completely independently. So with that on there, uh, I will say that I think with the amount of weight that this backpack has, they probably should have gone for some metal parts in here or some extra attachments or bracing for it. It's just too much for the backpack to really handle as far as um, fitting on the back. Like I said, you're going to end up with a lot more weight on it so I'm going to hold it up and show you what I mean. It just flops back. And I'm really worried that over time, this is going to wear out. The final little bit that you get with this kit is you have these attachments. They look like this in that clear plastic. And if you pop off these and these are on really tight I, I highly suggest using some kind of part separator for this to pop that off without breaking it this attaches here and you get this sword shield weapon kind of thing in that clear plastic and it just attaches here on the arm using this peg. So like that, which is really neat. I do like that. Uh, I think that's a good addition to the kit. So as far as a final grade for this kit, I am going to give it a C. Um, they really should have gone with a metal inner frame or some way of bracing that backpack. It's kind of like when you get a really good movie and it has a bad ending. When I would, everything went really smooth on this kit building wise uh, up until final assembly when I noticed just how heavy that is. I really did like the build for this kit. If you are a seed fan, I definitely suggest picking this up because you're not going to be able to find an MG Stargazer outside of some resin resin conversion kits. I am worried about the longevity of this kit, especially in the knees and the hips, and the fact that it doesn't come with a really good stand is something that has to be remedied. But with that said, we'll see you next time here on Metal Man X Builds.